Hello YouTubers, so here is another vent video. For those of you that like to collect this kind of stuff. Some of these are recent finds slash some I've torn out or replaced. So we'll start with this stack of 6x6s. Six Here's your Home Depot special ever built. 6x6. Six six. It does, they made, the Everbuild made it, it's designed a slightly a little different. You notice it has a ridge, there's a little ridge across. I got a stack of True Errors versions of this underneath this. Then here, we have the Low Special. Reliabilt. You said, I guess they must have changed their name recently, because I guess it, I remember, I could have sworn it used to be Accord. I think now it's Reliabilt, just like Everbuilt. Lowe's Shine Copy Home Depot here. Looks kind of funny. Here's this Heart, Heart Cooley. It looks very similar to this Reliabilt, except the only thing different is this one just has a, the different style shutter from this. But pretty much the same thing. Now this this stack you see here, not those two, but this I bought as a lot for dirt cheap on eBay. Pretty cheap for six of these things. I think I paid like thirty five bucks for one of these at the Home Depot. I think it's twelve or thirteen. I remember, when those things used to be like eight bucks. And here we have True Air versions of this. Not just one, not two, but four of them. Brand new in the packages. True Air. Made in Vietnam. And this, it's, I mean, I guess True Air is still making this. They just, Home Depot just probably paid, extra, paid True Air to slap the ever built name on because it still says Made in Vietnam. I mean, see, the shutters are still the same. The only thing different is there that ridge isn't there. This one, I mean, I, I I don't feel the ridge here, but there is a ridge here and here. That, that there's a difference. But I've always liked these true airs, especially these houses I've been at. Most most of them seem to use true air. I notice from kind of the early 2000s and on, and even homes being built to this day, which also where I live, there's a housing boom. I guarantee they're using these to this day. Always like these true airs. I don't know why. They just, they're unique. So there's that. Here's, here's a 10 by 10 version of the Reliabilt. Now, this was interesting because this one's actually got dual separate shutters, which I had never seen on this for this size. Maybe like a 16 by 16 and on, but very interesting. I wish I had a true air version down to show you, but very different. These are more bigger than this versus a true air. This is a little bit smaller and it's got a little bit of a longer, you know, these are a little bit longer. That. And here's one that is super rare. Super rare to find. Here's a true air two way. Now, this, I mean, I got this for dirt cheap on eBay. True air. Now, this is the 10 by 10. This, you cannot, it, they haven't ever built, probably used to make them, but I don't think they don't make this anymore. And I don't know why. But they make the 12x12, 12 12, they make the 8x8, 8 8, and the, well, the 6x6s 6 are kind of hard to find. And they make a 14x14. 14 14. But here is a 10x10 10 10 version. On Home Depot's website, it says out of stock online, so these are very hard to get. I kind of like the way, it looks like one of those old school windows when you look at it from the distance. <laughs> That's what it looks like. 
Still new in the package. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this, which is actually pretty good. A few bucks cheaper than what you would pay for a Home Depot. That's for sure. Here's another one of these old... Now, this one's actually one I took out of Mexico recently, back at the same house where I got... Came from the same place as this. And that filter return. So... Now, this one was one of the very few left. Got condemned. So, and then salt damage, of course, as you can see. I think, like I said, this is probably from the 1980s. It's a 10 by 10 three-way adjustable air vent. And here's another 6x6. Six six. Now, this one's... This one is like probably like nine bucks. That's cool. It's adjustable. And again, this was a little bit different from this guy. This one from Mexico. You notice how uh, this is a lot bigger. This has got a lot bigger opening, and then the tops are kind of a little more shoved in there, but they over the fins overlap. Compared to this, this just goes into the openings. Metal fab. Now this one is steel. Either steel or it might be... I think this one might be part steel and part aluminum. But... I like these. They're kind of cool. Like this. I know you're going to say I have another one of these, but this is the second one I have, a 10x6. Now, this one is steel. This other one here is aluminum. This is a 12x6, and I don't have this. This is aluminum. I think the only thing that's not aluminum are the shutters in the back. That's the only thing that's steel, but the whole outside frame is aluminum when i bought these at home depot the cashier charged me for two of these instead of this and this separately he charged me for two two of this which i kind of got a good bargain from that mistake because these aluminum ones are quite expensive and i could tell right away because this one's a lot lighter than this but you can't even tell that's aluminum did you the aluminum ones look have this kind of like a frame set up like this? This one here is mostly aluminum too. The only thing steel are the shutters. So it's pretty typical. Ever built. There's another ever built. Two-way. 14 by 6. And I was actually quite surprised they sell them this length. Because usually. When you start getting into these auto links, they, it's online orders only. But, yeah, there's that. Oh, the auto link. Here's a reliable return. 14, no, not 14. 16 by 8 inch return grill. Those these look a little bit different from the ever built ones. I don't think I don't have... I might have, actually, I might take that back. I might have an ever-built version of this, but I could have sworn it had three, three of these openings instead of the four you see. But these ones are quite different. And here are two more of these vents from Mexico. Now, these ones are the 8 by 8 the only two that were in that house. One was in the utility room and one was in the bathroom. Now, these ones are quite odd and different from the 10 by 10s and I don't know why. I don't know why they made it like that. See, there's a 10 by 10 They're from the same place. They're overall the same. The only thing different is the shutter handle. This ones have a little slot for a shutter. Well, I think this one, this one has the plastic. The plastic on it. The salt really took a toll on this one. 
All that rust you see is from the salt from the ocean because it's because that house is close to the ocean. Salt damage. But see, this shutters are different on this. And this one don't have that slot. They just put the shutter here like that. Very interesting. And yeah, I say these ones from going to the trash. Does you know, I like these old old things. You know, I hate throwing this kind of stuff in the garbage. You can call me a bit of a horror if you want, but we all have collect things in our own ways. But yeah, plastic handle. I'm surprised that this handle is still in good shape. Because we all know how brittle plastic gets. It's just a little. It's just a little cap that goes on that little. That little shaft you see there. There's those two. Those ones are steel and aluminum as well. There's a 14 by 8 supply drill. Another ever built. I was also surprised to find this at Home Depot. I could have sworn back when it was when they used to just sell true air stuff. There was no 14 by 8 at least that I last recalled. It seemed like they finally started stocking, started to stock 14 by 8 supply drills, which is interesting. I mean, it's still true air, just with some slight differences. But these little ridges, I noticed, they seem to help prevent this middle from bowing down too much. It helps keep it straight. Something that these ones don't have. The true air versions. Here's another Relia built 12 by 12. Dual shutters, which is also interesting. Very different from the true air. I know the true air ones, these are really small, and then these are bigger, a lot bigger. I wish I had one down to compare it to, but it's put away. I know the Relia built ones are very interesting looking. And I know this, I think Lowe's, they sell a bunch of these odd ones too that I wish I could collect, but they're a bit pricey. <laughs> Here's another one of those ever built two ways. I know I have one and I've shown it. This one is another one I have. Uh, they seem to have a bunch of these, but they have none of this ones. The 10 by 10s. Those are the two side by side. I could, I swear, these things look like those old school vintage windows with the cross like that. That's why I like them because they're very unique. Very unique looking. Here's an ever built 8 by 8. And the thing they changed on this one is this one has the ridge now. This house has a bunch of these 8x8s. And I have another one of these somewhere. And it does not. It's the true air version. And it does not have this ridge you see. They change, they change these quite a bit. Childhood stuff. It has a reliable version of the 8x8. I'm not sure you could probably, it's kind of different. So I could put these two side by side. This ones are bigger than this. But these are bigger than this. It's kind of interesting. They design them differently. This one's have the plastic shutter here. And this one has the metal. I, I like these metal ones better because these plastic ones, after a while, you know, the plastic gets plastic ages, especially if you run the heat. It really degrades the plastic handles. And I doubt those are heat resistant. You know, one day when you need to open or close the vent, you know, this thing could just easily snap off. Not a huge fan of the plastic that they did on these, but... Hey, that's where I built for you. <laughs> I like these better. The metal ones. It's more proper. Now, on to the bigger ones here. I don't have not only one, but I have two of these 14 by 14s 
There's also, well, you can't get, they technically sell them at Home Depot, but they sell it on the website only. But these are the True Air versions. Now, these ones always have the ridge, I've noticed. Now, I technically got two of these brand new, but I swapped one of them out. Swapped this out for one of those because... This one here is original to this house. As you can tell, it's kind of a bit dingy. But the problem with this one was it always would rattle every time the air would go through this. It would rattle these little shutters here. And it would annoy the crap out of my parents. And they said, is there a way you can fix this? And uh, for the curiosity of I me, mean, I looked up this, four, this True Air 14 by 14s and I came across a listing from Nevada. Nine bucks for one of these things, which is super cheap. For one of these at, on the Home Depot's website, it's like 64 bucks for the, just one of these. So I bought two of them. I think it was, I think I paid $32, I want to say, for two of them. That's with shipping and tax. That's like half the price for how much it costs for one of these at Home Depot. But these two have some very, very minor differences on the handles, I noticed. This one's from about 2004. That's when this house was built. And this little handle here, this one's different from this. This one's more like, has like a round. This one's flat on the bottom, but round on the edge. I noticed these back then. Well, these, I noticed some of the, I don't know, maybe they had two different, I guess they had two different handle designs. I mean, it's just a handle, but I just, that's something I noticed. I noticed the ones at Home Depot now, they sell them just with that handle. The only one that has this handle here, I noticed, is this 10 by 10 see? But as far as these 8x8s, even in this house, the real, the ones original in this house, they've always had this handle. And the 6x6s. But the 12x12s in this house, the true air versions, keep in mind, and the 10x10s always have this handle. I don't know why that is. But now with the Everbuilt brand, it's all, it's all just these handles. So it must have stopped using this style for whatever reason. That's just me. This is just my observations. These things I pick up on. So yeah, this is another vent video update.